god. Who are you? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I got this look. Actually inspired by Trolley, the Sour Bike Crawlers. I love these things. I did try to use as many colors as I could from the packaging. It was really hard to use a black, but um, I'm excited for you guys to see how I got this look and, you know, the process it took. Before we continue, make sure you go ahead, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell when you do, so you're notified every single time I upload. When you hit that notification bell, because YouTube is tripping, make sure you hit all, so you'll definitely be notified every single time I upload, even if it's off the Monday schedule, which I don't think we're deviating from that anytime soon. But make sure you go ahead um, and comment if you want an extra day, and I can definitely try my best to make that happen for you guys. And if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. Right, as you guys have seen from the intro, today I'm going to do another upload for the Light Candy series. And this is going to be with the Trolley Sour Bite, I think, yeah, Sour Bite Crawlers. So very colorful. <laughs> I actually don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I think I'm gonna definitely just try to use as many colors as I can. So first, I think what I'm gonna do is like pop a lot. Like I think I'm gonna like have the colors in the crease. I know I sound crazy, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna go in with my Zulu palette. You guys know this is my baby. It has all these great colors, and you, that yellow is not a game. So I'm going to actually go uh, in with my Morphe E36. It's a really small brush, a blending brush. And I think I'm just going to use this to really get the colors in the crease. So I'm just going to go right into that yellow first. Make sure my brush is coated. I think right. And if you see some pink, it's like still stained from the other day, but it's fine. All my lids are primed with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Macadamia. And I'm just going to go right blend it up and out. Yeah, so I really wanted to show, I'm definitely going to make sure I pack that in, I'm not really knocking off any excess, just getting right in there. Okay, once I have enough yellow, I'm just going to bring it out quite a bit. Just some more than half because you guys know I like to use yellow and pink just to make a nice orange instead of using the orange shadow. But I might actually build a little bit of that orange on top of it just so that it really shows. Um, all these colors need to really be popping because this is like bright. So I'm just going to use my Ulta Color Switch just to knock off a little bit of that. I really don't need to with lighter colors to be honest. And I'm actually going to dip right into this orange here. It's really like an orange soda. Orange. Who loves orange soda? You guys already know. And if you don't know, you're too young. I'm sorry. Alright. And right over that yellow, right in the middle, I'm going to use that orange. And just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit more. Just to really make sure that orange it is. And I do find that if you like stamp it in first, like, do you see the difference? You stamp it in first and then blend it, you really get that color payoff. So I'm gonna do it. I should actually do that again with the yellow. We'll see. Just gonna make sure those are blended. And then actually go back with that color switch. And I think yeah, I'm just gonna do that with the yellow. Just, just a little bit um, for the yellow, just to make sure that it's popping. Sorry if I'm looking down, that's where my palette is. Gonna go right into this pink now this is not as bright as i want the pink to be it's a really good pink just right in the middle of that and it is used it's like hidden pan honestly right on the outer corner uh, make sure that they overlap with that orange and just go ahead and blend that in like i'm not gonna stamp this one too much because i don't think that i need to and i think i'm still gonna go in with that pink from bh cosmetics 
So I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out the same in the other eye and then come back and add that paint. I think the paint is also going to go on the outer corners. Yeah, so I'm just going to do that and show you guys how it looks. So now that those colors are on and I'm pretty happy with how they're looking, you can see all of them and I like that um, they're blended together um, because you know with the um, sour worms trolley is usually two tone, so it's two colors per piece of candy, whatever. I really like I like the idea of candy so I can have like one or two pieces, but I really can't just have a whole bag. It is what it is. So I'm going to go in with my tapered Morphe brush and go into this pink um, in the BH Cosmetics Night and Day palette. It's like literally it's done. It is. And I'm going to use it until it's completely finished. But this pink is really, really pigmented. And it always just takes that pink from, um, from Juvia's Place Azul palette up on another level in a level. So I'm just going to go so right on top of that pink and of course just blend it into the orange a little bit. And I'm actually going to take this on the outer corner as well. You can already see a huge, like, you can see the difference. It's like, serious, okay? I'm just gonna do that on both sides. Okay, so here we are, I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like after I packed on a little bit more of that pink from the BH Cosmetics palette. Um, so, so far we got three colors down, which is like, a lot. And I really like how this is looking. I'm just gonna go in with my 225, it's my blender brush, it's a little dirty. Um, I did clean it off with the color switch, um, but it's just stained and just kind of without any product, just buff out the edges so they're not, you know, so harsh. Now I'm starting with the inner corner with the lighter colors just so that paint doesn't go ahead and mess those up. You still want those to be very, very vibrant. And again, if any of the colors you feel like are getting lost, just go back in and just pack them on. And I'm just going to keep going back to this little color switch because it does the job and those who hate washing brushes I hate washing brushes but I hate dirtying unnecessary brushes more so it's like this is perfect so I'm just gonna go ahead blend these together and go back and if any color I feel like is not as bright I'm just gonna go back in and pack that on with that small E36 brush by Morphe so I'm just gonna do this um, I'll come back and show you guys how to cut the crease Uh, cut the crease with my concealer which is Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand. Over the shape tape I just went ahead immediately and used my NYX glitter primer um, just with this little synthetic brush. Oh my god my mirror's dropping right over it um, because I'm going to go ahead and lay down some shimmers and I don't want them to play me. So I think first I'm going to go back into that Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. I'm gonna hit that green because there's always green, there's green on the packaging, there's green candies. Definitely have to use the green. So I'm just gonna take this small little flat brush and oh, just making a mess already. I'm just gonna get up in there. I'm gonna use this on the inner corner. Very pretty green, lots of fallout because I didn't knock off my brush and I didn't wet the brush with any um, Fix Plus or any setting spray. I just, you guys know, once I sit down this day, I don't want to get up. I'm lazy and it's like I'm looking at it, but it's too far. It's too far. Um, so yeah, just right on the inner corner. Make sure you get that on there. A glitter primer always helps. It's not always needed, but look do some things with some palettes where they embarrass me this one isn't that this one is pretty good like, i just love this palette um Juvia's place sponsor me like what y'all doing but yeah so just like on half or a little bit more than half i'm gonna blend it together and definitely 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 going to go in with a blue because that is most of the packaging again um these looks are based on the packaging not the actual candies even though I tried to, you know, incorporate both. So I'm actually going to go in with my mini controversy palette. You guys know this palette stressed me out when I used it the first time. And I've actually never picked it up since then. Um, but I'm going to because this was $28. And that's two bowls from Chipotle. 
two bags of large chips like that's a lot and I'm not wasting it so I'm just gonna go right into this shade here this is called the simulation it's a beautiful blue shade it's like a it's a glitter I wouldn't say it's a press glitter but you know I learned my lesson and definitely I'm going to use um, this glitter blue glitter primer whatever you want to call it popping that right on the oh, the rest of the concealer from the cut crease definitely gonna blend that out make sure that they're you know not looking too crazy so I'm definitely gonna have to right in the middle gonna go back in with a little bit of that green just to make sure that it's there but I'm probably back in with some of that pink because you know we gotta be blended you can't just be looking crazy even though this is a lot of colors and I'm gonna be looking crazy but you know get over it out okay so it's blended out um i really like it lots of fallout on my face which is fine i just feel like oh because of the packaging i feel like i did use a lot of these colors um, most of them i do have some orange I do have the pink um green i do have blue but this black i don't know it's making me feel like i'm i, I need to use a black um but maybe that'll me just be like some eyeliner or something i'm not sure yet i don't know what i'm gonna do um but that could be you know that could work i think i'm just gonna go ahead and do my base i'm gonna come back and smoke with the lower lash line and you know be wrapping it up okay my base is on I laid down some banana powder by makeup revolution for my foundation i'm using the juvia's place velvety matte foundation in 420 i believe that's havana yeah so that's what i'm doing so for the lower lash line i'm actually just gonna go back into the solo palette i'm just going to mimic the same colors that are on the crease so i'm going to go in with the yellow the orange and the pink so again yellow first this is just my flat shader brush this is a or a smudger brush it's a 226 by zoeva i'm just gonna pop that on the inner corner and bring it a little bit out and i do already have some bottom eyeliner and my waterline is just black because you know I just use this black, so I think the only way I'm going to do that is probably just wing out the top. Mm, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to wing it out. Like, I don't know what else to do for the black without ruining the actual look. So, I'll still be using all the colors, just, you know, some not as uh, prominent as others. But maybe I'll do like a dramatic wing. I don't know yet. We'll, we're going to see. Because you guys know when I get left by myself and I say I'm going to come back and show you the final look. It's like, who is this bitch? What was she doing? Show me. Okay, yeah. So for the inner corner, then I'm just going to go back in. And I just have it right here. Uh, first with that yellow. So my mirror doesn't blind you guys. That yellow. Now I'm going in with this orange right here. And that's, um, of course, I'm blending them together. And then on the outer corner, we're going to do the... So I'm just going to finish that up and go ahead and finish the face and show you that final look. This is the final look, y'all. And I love it. Like, I do. Like, uh, it's so bright and so pretty. Do I feel like it's, you know, like you can tell right off, like, oh, okay, I can see it. I don't know because of the black and the packaging, but I definitely feel like it gives me candy vibes. Like, definitely. You can see that it's, um, like candy. <laughs> But no, seriously, like, I just feel like if I could figure out a way to use more of the black. Like, I did try to use black when I first started, and I was like, oh, this shit looks trash. So, I just started over, and then I more really wanted to blend those colors in the crease so that it looks like the actual candy, because, you know, they're two-toned. So, I don't know, guys, let me know how I did. Like, how do you think I did? How do you think the look came out? Definitely let me know in the comments below. Give us a big thumbs up if you do like this video, if you want to see more of this series, which is like candy. I'm creating looks inspired by different candies. I'm going to try to get them from Five Below because they're just bigger, you know, like this. Just so you guys can really see them. Um, I just feel like it helps and I like Five Below. I think like I have a problem, but whatever. So I really do think that this is really, really cute. Um, my lashes are actually in the style of dime piece. Um, again, by Pretty Make Beauty. It's not sponsored, but I love them. Like she has poppin' ass lashes and they're mad cheap and they're good quality. The other two lashes, like my Angel and my Lux style, 
I've literally been using since I started this channel like three four months which is insane and they're still going strong I just want to try something else these look really really cute I just really wanted to show the actual colors not overpower it and I'm really really happy with this now my lip combo is the same it's Aria by NYX is their matte lip liner and then I used the Dose of Colors Nude Moon and topped it with the Iconic London Nearly Nude uh, Lip Plumping Gloss. Um, gloss, And you know it's not pumping shit but whatever. And I keep looking at myself because damn, she cute. Literally perfect for carnival like come on, come through. Y'all going to carnival hit me up, I'll do your makeup. But if you want to fly me out, I can get flued out too. <laughs> Alright guys, let me know what you think of this look below. Comment, like, subscribe. When you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload, which is every single Monday. You heard me. And go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Definitely check out my looks there and watch out for my stories. I don't know when. Sometimes I randomly do little gift card giveaways and I know you wouldn't want to miss that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time.